صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله على بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد خاتم النبيين وإمام المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا إنك جامع الناس ليوم لا ريب فيه إن الله لا يخلف الميعاد ربنا إننا سمعنا مناديا ينادي للإيمان أن آمنوا بربكم فآمنا ربنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا وتوفنا مع الأبرار ربنا وآتنا ما وعدتنا على رسلك ولا تخزنا يوم القيامة إنك لا تخلف الميعاد Brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Talking about love brings joy to every heart and smile to every face and entertainment to every mind. It is something that enlightens the spirit and changes the air and lifts up people to the best of all intellectual and emotional levels. People have experienced love in their lives. Every one of us, we must have loved someone something and tasted the pleasure of love or sometimes the agony of uh, missing the beloved. From when we were little, we were babies and we were attached to our children and we were attached to our parents. Naturally, we loved our parents we grew up with attachment, strong attachment to them. When they left us by accident or on some occasions, we missed them. And we felt that there is something that uh, binds us with our parents. Later on, we grew as young boys and girls. The attachment was different. Now, we love to be with our classmates, with our friends, more than our parents. Although we love our parents, and we don't compare anyone to them, yet our classmates and our friends at school and, and somewhere else, at clubs or sports, are prior to our parents, and if our parents deprive us from going with our classmates and our friends, then we rebel. Later on, at another stage in our lives, we moved on and we became young, young people. As young people, we needed to get married. We got married, hopefully those of you who are single, we pray that they get married as soon as possible. Insha'Allah. When we got married, we felt another level of love, attachment to our spouses, our mates. Now, the love is on a different level. 
the love to our parents was more paternal and uh, with respect. The love to our classmates was more social because they entertain us. The love for our mates is more emotional. Although Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when speaking about marital relationships does not speak of love. The word love is not used when speaking about marriage. The most famous verse in Al-Quran Al-Kareem about marriage is وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمَةً And amongst his signs in the chapter of Ar-Rum, Surah Ar-Rum, and amongst his signs is that he made for you وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ جَعَلَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ from within yourselves أزْوَاجًا mates لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا so that you find tranquility with them وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ and he put amongst you مَوَدَّة permanent love and رَحْمَةً mercy the Arabic word is not love used in the divine book of Allah is mawadda translated often as permanent love the difference between mawadda and love is big because love sometimes may come and go but in order to keep the family strong you need another reason other than love and this is friendliness. This is mawadda. Mawadda is friendliness and mercy between the mates when love does not exist or disappears after honeymoons. And this is, I believe, a miracle of the book of Allah because people get married often because they love each other. And when they get under underneath one roof, then they find each other's differences or ugly features or characters, then they start working against each other. The word love does not exist or occur here because of these occurring differences between spouses. However, love between spouses, mates, husbands and wives is more emotional. Now we have children. When we have children, we love our children. And we become attached and more attached to our children than our mates. And one of the major causes of marital conflicts after marriage, after having children, is the wife too busy with the kids. The husband thinks she doesn't love me as she did or used before. Or the wife sees her husband too much attached to his children, now he doesn't have the same emotions for her. This is one of the major reasons for marital conflicts after having children. Of course, for one or two or three years, when you didn't have any children, you were busy with each other, preoccupied with each other. Now you have to give some break to your wife because she has a piece of her now to raise up, to take care of. And also, the wife has to give her husband some also break because he has now a piece of him to look at, to see himself like a mirror of him in front of him. They both love their children. They agree on this, although they disagree on many things, but they agree that they love their children. Now, this love is different. This love is love of mercy, is love that is filled with mercy.